Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Upper Pro here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to blow up a wall to get to a treasure chest or whatever you want to blow up a wall for. So, in the last episode, is, um, as you can see on the screen, we messed around with the GIMP. Um, you are going to use the GIMP again, or a um, similar program that can handle alpha channels, blending types, and all that good fun stuff. So if you are using the GIMP and this is your first time installing it, um, there will be a link in the description by the way this time. Click on single window mode, I find it very convenient. So. Um, you're going to want to open up two tiles, outside B and outside A4. Now, unlike last time, you're not going to be able to copy a 48 by 48 uh, centerpiece. Well, you are, but the grid style is different for these types of tiles. So to get the little black lines like I have here, you want to go to View, Show Grid, and then we're going to go to Image, Configure Grid, make it 24 by 24. Now, we're going to select the cent these, these two center ones here. Uh, make sure you're selecting whatever wall you placed. And we're going to drag all the way up. This is 24. And this is 24. So, um, two of these is 48. So what we're going to do is 48, 48, 48. So the total tile size should be 48 by 144 for the center piece. We're going to hold control and press C. Now, once you've opened up outside B, let me delete this layer here. Once you've opened up outside B, you're going to hide the bottom layer. We're going to go to View, Show Grid, and of course, Image, and then configure grid and then gonna set it to 48 by 48 now we're going to go here we're gonna paste the the wall right underneath the first top of the tile we're gonna paste it again two there we go paste it again three now we're gonna copy this entire thing here uh, auto shrink we're going to copy and paste down to here, right underneath it. Oh. And this one's going to be on a new layer. So click new layer once you, instead of clicking, just press new layer and you should see it'll create a new little layer. Now the purpose of this is because we're going to have one fixed wall and one destroyed wall. The auto shrink function, by the way, is if you, if you select the rectangle or any other of the selection tools, um, you can click auto shrink and it will automatically select whatever you have that's not alpha channel that's within a boundary whatever you'll figure it out <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining things like that all right so um the first top layer here we can leave alone so the um, the new layer which is, I was gonna call the bottom layer which is on top but whatever we're gonna select the erase tool and we're gonna select this um, we're gonna select this round tile here and we're gonna select the size to be about 18 and we're gonna select the hard edge box here now we're going to just kind of erase, kind of erase the shit out of it. Just make it look kind of like it's been destroyed, like, you know, bombed. Which is the purpose of this tutorial. There you go. So once it's looked like that, now you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna discover that it's gonna look a little bit weird and like not really realistic kind of looking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check this little thing here and it's locking the alpha channel. It's very hard to tell if it's checked or not. Um, but don't worry about that. We're going to select the brush tool. We're going to select the opacity and put it to about 50. And we're going to select the fuzziest tool here. Well, the hardness 0 0.25 0 .25 or whatever tool. Um, everything else we're just going to leave normal. And we're just going to kind of draw around the edge of, uh, of this part right here. It doesn't matter how messy it looks. Now we're going to create a new layer and we're going to select this uh we're going to select some kind of like style like this right here uh they're like it says well we're, let's just select the grass brush and make the size let's do about a 56 this time and just start stamping everywhere making it look all well not everywhere but you want to make sure you don't get the left edge but don't worry about that right now um i can show you how to fix that in a minute it just makes it look all charcoal -y. So to fix the left edge issue, we're going to go back to the, uh, the fuzziest possible tool, keep the size 56, unselect hard edge, uh, and erase around the edges. This is because you don't want it to look too square. You don't have to worry about the bottom piece right here. This is because you don't want it to look too squared off from the, um, from the rest of it, from this part of the wall here. So now we're going to select multiply, and that will get rid of the part that shows in the alpha channel. Now, we're going to name this outside B underscore walls. 
I already did this and failed an attempt, but of course. Now, um, go to your tile sets, and you're going to want to go to outside, of course, and either replace or add to a new one, like layer E, uh, outside B walls, the new one that we just created. Now, here comes the fun part. We're going to need to create events. So, the bottom event here, bot left, let's call it bottom left, we're going to give it the graphic of the uh, outside tile set D. And it's going to be this tile right here, the bottom left tile. Now, we're going to copy and paste the event page. We're going to do switch, and we're going to select wall 1. Now, we're going to change the graphic to this one, the destroyed one. So make sure on the first tom, on the first tab, nothing's checked. It's just the normal wall. And the second tab is the destroyed wall. We're going to copy this and paste this event up one. We're going to call it mid left and give it the middle tile. I'll also modify this one to give it the middle tile destroyed. And that's all we need to do. Copy this. Give it the top tile. Uh, we're going to name it top left. Don't worry, I'm not going to be doing this throughout the entire thing. I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the point where we're finished. Uh, now that you know what to do, you're going to do the same thing for the center and, and the right side. So I'm going to cut to it when I'm done. Okay, so once you've copied that, uh, let's go to starting with the player. As you can now see, we have walls that look normal. However, they're not collidable. To fix this, all you'd have to do is check the priority and select same as characters on only on the bottom rows so you don't have to you don't have to worry about like if you accidentally did what i did where you didn't do this you don't have to worry about it now on the bottom one you must have below or on the second tab you must have below characters this is very very important on the second tab of each of the bottom rows they have to have the below character property all right so then let's pretend you have an item called bombs i'm not going to go on that i'm not going to go through on how to check and see if you have an item or not. But let's just do an event on the bottom metal on the bottom center one here. And say place a bomb here. We're gonna say yes or no. And if yes, we're going to do something very, very generic, which of course I would expect you to do like a lot better of a job because you're you know, it's in your game, but for me, I'm just showing you how it's done. We're gonna do fire one on this event. We're gonna do, we don't have to do wait for completion, but actually, yes, let's do wait for completion. And then let's do, go back to here, uh, control switches, turn wall one on. Now, uh, if you want to make an indication that you can bomb here, make an event somewhere and give it the flame graphic, uh, this little star blinking thing here and check on stepping, check the stepping. Uh, box here and leave that alone for now and then we're going to do a parallel process event randomly somewhere around the map and we're going to do set event location we're going to select our little sparkly event which was number 11 uh, I would name it if I was you and we're going to select it on this tile here make this tile or make this uh, event above characters instead of same as and then click on new page and then click on the switch and then select wall one and make it empty. All right, here we go. This is how it should look. You should see a thing here, although it's... Now, if you notice why it's not blinking is because the location is constantly being set and I made a little error, and I will show you how to fix that. I apologize for that. After we set the event location, we need to erase the event of the parallel process. That's it. And that should solve that issue. There we go, we have a blinking event. That looks very weird. Let's bomb here. Yeah. Boom! And there we go! We now, um, if you want to, you can make it look like these are behind, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But we have destroyed the wall and are now capable of getting the chest. Oh, wait. But it seems your efforts were for nothing. But don't worry, at least there is air in the chest. That'd be like the worst insult. So to fix that, um, for this event here, we're gonna have the... Okay, for the bottom left of the destroyed wall, we're gonna set it to same as characters, and we're gonna set throw or through. Um, same with the bottom right and the bottom left as well. Uh, only on the bottom, or only on the destroyed one, we're going to select the through one. Through. Same as. Make sure it's also same as. 
Uh, for the other ones here, for the second ones, we can set above characters. That's air, so it doesn't matter. Not only on the second one, above characters. A destroyed one, above characters. The destroyed one above characters. No, 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 no. Above characters. All right. So now, when we now we should have it finalized. I apologize for any mistakes. I have not practiced this. I just kind of wanted to do a tutorial. Yes, I am wearing a Al Harris Press Control shirt because all my shirts are currently dirty. And who? Place a bomb here. Boom. There we go. Whoa, that looks a bit weird. So never mind. Maybe we shouldn't have it like that. Oh well, just play around with it until you have it the way you like it, and voila, there you go. You now have a destroyed wall. Although you can get up here. In order to prevent yourself from getting up there, just place an empty event, same as characters. And done. So that's all. That's going to be all for the tutorial, and I thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you later. Peace out.